the managerial role. Um, it's something that you've done. Do you have any advice for him? No, I think Steve's his own man. He's been in the game long enough. He'll have his own thoughts and his own ideas. And uh, I wish him all the best. Is it a, is it a big step, though? Well, again, it's, uh, it depends on the, the remit. I mean, mine was game by game. I don't know what Steve's is. Um, it is a big step, yes, but one that I think he's more than capable of. With them deciding to make the change, does, does that make your job just a little bit harder? No, our job is to focus on ourselves and ourselves solely. Um, we've got some big challenges ahead, uh, starting with West Ham on Saturday. As far as West Ham is concerned, I mean, how's your squad looking? Did everyone come through midweek OK? Yes, everyone's come through OK. Uh, Papi Mende trained partly today. Uh, we'll assess him again tomorrow, um, see if he can take more part in the training session and then make a decision after that. Okay. How, how would you rate him at the moment then? I think he's 50-50 in terms of being selected for the squad for Saturday, but it was nice to have him back out on the training pitch again. How much of a feel-good factor is there? out on the training pitch just at the moment? Results will always have an influence on the atmosphere um, in and around the training grounds and of course with the, with the last three games of course it's there but uh, we know that it's one step at a time and we're not going to get carried away with everything. We know that we've got a big challenge ahead in the Premier League. Do you sense though that there is a, a feel-good factor and it, it's perhaps returning? Well again we know that uh, it can quickly disappear with one result against in football and we have to make sure that the focus is on solely the next game and that's what we said to the players after the game on Tuesday and we've said it again today, just reiterated the importance of the West Ham game. Tell me, what does it mean to you to be in charge of the only Premier League club that's made it into the last eight of the Champions League? Well, again, really the, the, my thoughts aren't about that. It's about solely that we put in a performance um, that made everyone proud on Tuesday night in terms of this football club and that's really our aim looking forward. We have to make sure that uh, we're not only competitive in any, ga any game but um, every game we go into we're trying to get a result. Now that you know the other seven, is there anyone you would like to play? Is there anyone you would like to avoid? No, I think uh, we'll let the draw. We can't affect it, so there's no point really worrying about it. I think uh, they all have their, their own strengths, um, but we know we have some strengths as well. And I think when the draw's made, uh, we'll know who it is and we can concentrate on that th when the game comes along. There is an England squad announcement this afternoon. I mean, you know, Jamie Vardy, is, we assume, will be in it. Uh, what's your assessment of, of where he is right at the moment? Again, I think uh, I wouldn't dare tell Gareth who to pick and who not to pick. The squad's not announced yet, so um, you know I'm sure that um, everyone can see that Jamie, um, his form is in good spirits, as in everybody else in the squad. I mean, he went through he went through a long spell where he didn't score, but now seems to to be finding some goals. What what difference has that made to, to him? Tell me a forward that hasn't gone through that spell. You know, there is, it happens. And uh, I think Jamie's reaction then, when he, you could see the joy in terms of the first goal he got. Um, but that's, that's forwards. They live and die by the goals. But I think the, the overall performance of forwards as well, in terms of the link-up, is vitally important. Do you see him as the, the, the top English striker in the, in the Premier League at the moment? Again, there's some good ones there. And I think, um, you know, he's, he's proven in terms of being in the England squad before. So he's obviously up there with the rest of them. What did you make of what Samir Nasri had to say about Jamie in, over the incident that, that saw him sent off in, in, in Milford? Uh, Samir Nasri sent off. Obviously not Jamie. Um, but he called him a cheat. Yeah. Um, Jamie's not a cheat and uh, never has been, never will be. Um, and I think Jamie responded well to the comment. And, uh, you know, I think um, we have to put that one to bed. That game's gone. The referee made a decision and we have to move on from that. As far as the rest of the season is concerned, I mean, you're, you're 15th, I think, in the table at the moment. Where realistically can Leicester be finishing? I don't think there's any set target by myself in terms of Again, I'll reiterate that we need to be competitive in every game. We need to try and win every game. Let's see where that takes us. Uh, we want to try and move away from it because it is very, very tight down there. 
but I just think we have to concentrate solely. We can't get into the uh, thing of looking too far ahead. Uh, I don't want to do that. The players don't want to do that. Solely focus on each game as it comes. Leicester haven't won away in the league yet this season, but what's, what's been missing? What have you lacked? Again, uh, very difficult to put your finger on it. I think um, we have to try and look forward now. We have to make sure that if players are aware of that. Um, we even spoke about it after the Seville game in terms of trying to put that right as early as after the game because you know their focus is on West Ham now. Um, very hard to put your finger on why, um, but we have to try and put it right. What would winning at West Ham mean then? Three points. How much of a difference does Andy Carroll make to West Ham? How much of a, a, a different team are they when he does play to perhaps when he doesn't? Yeah, I think he's a big aerial threat. I think he's uh, very dominant, allows them to get up the pitch a bit quicker. Uh, we're mindful, but I also know uh, from working with their players as well, um, in terms of Antonio, that they're a big danger. They're a big danger. They're a good team. Um, I know that people have suggested that um, their home form at times can be erratic, but I think uh, we know going there, they'll be a threat. And I gather that the players aren't booking any holiday for June the 3rd, which is the Champions League final. Do you have any, any holiday booked? Any plans you might need to change? I don't, but um, again, I haven't banned talk of the Champions League, but to be fair to the players, as I said before, that um, after the game, the focus is what I wanted on West Ham, and that's all the talk has been today. The preparation, everything has been about West Ham. So who's the priority of the Premier League? The priority is to win each game that we play in, and West Ham being the next, that has to be the priority. Thank you. Hi, Craig. Hi, Ian. Um, <clears throat> what have you learned about the difficulties or, or not of putting the Champions League to bed, given you've been around it all season, and then moving on to the Premier League? Have you learned any lessons during the campaign to help you? I think you lads could make it a lot easier for me by not asking the questions, but I've, of course I didn't expect that. But um, no, I think um, we're in a professional industry. Players know uh, it's my job and the staff's job to, to make sure that the focus is on there. But to be fair to them, to a man, um, that's what they've concentrated on today. Is it hard to stop thinking about it though? Even no, it's not. I think, um, I think in football, if you get too carried away, um, they are memories. They're nice memories and they're good memories, but that's what they are because you, the, the sole aim now is the next Premier League game because, as been mentioned, we've got a poor away, away record. We have to do something about that. Have the players been talking about an opponent that they'd like in the draw? No, they haven't. No, they haven't. Maybe not to you. Surely they have. Again, I'm not with them 24 no, hours a day. I'm not in the, you know, with them all the time. Are they allowed to watch it tomorrow? Is, is that a No, we'll be training. I've uh, been asked that question. And um, no, we want to train as normal. The preparation has to be for the West Ham. So um, depending, uh, I'm not sure how long it goes on for the draw, but um, we'll be out training because then we were travelling after training down to West Ham. So there'll be plenty of time for us to get word of who we're playing. Pardon my ignorance, but are electronic devices are allowed around training? Will someone find out by phone? Will someone come and tell you how will it work? No, we'll find out when we go back in after training. Um, you said after the game on Tuesday that you think Leicester City play the best football when they're on the front foot. Front foot football. Is that what we can expect in the Premier League for the remainder of the campaign? That's what we hope. Um, that's what will be expected, yes. I think we are the best when we do that. I think um, you saw the results in terms of the performances of Liverpool, Hull and now Seville. Um, the players think they're better when they're like that and that's what we'll, they'll be encouraged to do. And how do you manage their emotions from Tuesday to get them refocused on Saturday? How much of a challenge is that in your view? Well, I haven't found it a challenge so far. I can only go on what I've experienced. Um, and as I say, talk straight away after the game was to improve the away record. Riyad Mahrez on Tuesday, I think, had the most successful tackles of all of your 11. What have you said to him to get the most out of him? Again, successful crosses, created two goal-scoring opportunities. I think he created four, you scored two. What have you said to Riyad to get the best out of him? 
Well, it was more of a team thing on uh, over the last three games in terms of recover to shape, uh, reminding the wingers their responsibilities. Uh, we know Riyadh um, can unlock the door, but again, he has to be part of that team ethic, that team process, and he's brought into that really well. The incident with Sami Nasri and Jamie Vardy was mentioned earlier. Whilst I don't mean specifically on that, I'd like to talk to you about the discipline in your team on Tuesday, but also... You know, you, you mentioned going back to shape discipline on the field. Are they starting your players to show increased discipline as a group, a bit more experience? Again, I'm not talking about that incident in particular, but just a bit more footballing now, so maybe than earlier on in the season. No, I think the discipline's always been good. I think game management, we talk about game management. We talk about uh, instances in the game, which when we debrief. So those sort of things, you know, players have to be able to make decisions on the pitch. And I've encouraged them to believe in themselves in terms of making their, the best decisions. First trip to the Olympic Stadium, London Stadium. I don't know what they're calling it. I think London City Stadium, I think. Were you expecting? you excited? Does it, does it change the dynamic of a game at all? No, I think obviously Upton Park uh, was renowned for the atmosphere. Apparently, this one's OK. Um, we know that um, West Ham will be difficult opponents wherever they were playing. Um, it'll be interesting to see it because of the the uh, history of the Olympics. But uh, in terms of playing a football match, I don't expect it to be any different. And finally, I know I'm leaving myself wide open for this one, but in the last few press conferences, you've said that managing the media has been one of your biggest challenges and something you're not used to. Who do you base your press conferences on, Nigel Pearce nor Claudio Ranieri? I don't, myself. I think um, you, you've got to be yourself. Um, otherwise, I don't think it uh, it really comes through and um, I think sometimes um, I don't want to be manufactured I think um, you can ask, ask the questions whether I think it's relevant or not I'll answer and so I've just tried to be myself really appreciate that good luck Saturday thank you do we need anything else for today before we go into tomorrow okay so from here just